know laughter is the best medicine and indeed our next two performers they're going to have you laughing all the way home you're going to roll in these halls as we present to you uh, two uh, exciting uh, performers that has been really making several appearances both on radio and television they are known as uh, jamaica and the caribbean's number one impersonators let's hear it for gary sat and leighton ratry The Supreme Sound, the RJR. The Super Supreme RJR making our five and a half minutes past the hour, one o'clock, Montego Bay. You've got your radio scratch to the Supreme Sound. In the meantime, we'll let you know, no show business afternoon. No show business, Super Supreme RJR. I'll be talking Mr. Vaz, Mr. Manda, Mr. Siago. Behold, when I'm through, I want my mother cracking her. In the meantime, in the meantime, the man I've got on 6178 was former Minister of Industry and Commerce, former Minister without portfolio, now he's Minister on his own. Mr. Vaz, how do you explain this controversy? Over the past few months, there has been a great deal of controversy in Jamaica with the issue concerning my resignation as Minister of the Portfolio. A number of people have mentioned that I resigned before I was fired. Whether I resigned before I was fired or whether I was fired before I resigned, the fact is I'm on my own. No disrespect, Mr. Vaz, you're on your own. In the meantime, it's budget supplies can be limited for the best of number of supplies. Time of budget supplies on the Supreme Sound, 15 minutes past 1 o'clock. Make it 1.15 in your afternoon. Super Supreme RJR, I'm cracking this year one. Leave the lines open. No show business afternoon. No quiz. The Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Edward Siaga, is on 68631. Mr. Siaga, sir, let Jamaicans know you crack with me. It is indeed a very great honor and a very great privilege to be here. Mr. Prime Minister, sir. The People's National Party and the Jamaican Labour Party have been meeting. What do you have to say to Jamaicans about these meetings? Over the past few months, it is indeed a very great honor and a very great privilege that once and for all in Jamaica we can have the People's National Party and the Jamaica Labour Party united in a struggle to build Jamaica for Jamaicans. Now, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm going to crack it on you. The People's National Party are calling for general elections. Uh, how do you respond to this? They sent helicopter to kill me the other day. Over the past few months, there has been a great deal of controversy in Jamaica with all issue concerning general elections for 1988. A number of people have mentioned that this government has failed the people of Jamaica. But what I want to tell them is that the race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong, but for those who can endure the problems throughout the end. Because I am very proud of this government's performance. Because I remember in 1986 when we had the June floods down there in Clarendon. And the amount of cement I carry on my back. The amount of flour and cornmeal I carry down there and give to them. And now they come tell me that I must resign. Oh, for me dead body, I'm not calling the elections for 1988. Now, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm going to crack your special area. I'm going to crack figures. Now, how do you explain to Jamaicans in very, very, very simple terms the reason they can't do the negotiation between Jamaica and the IMF? As a result of a new phase in the structural adjustment program, the government of Jamaica is securing a new deficit refinancing plan to secure 64.021% of 85.3% of 32.1% of 6.5% of 15.3% of 8.2% of GDP. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister. That was very, very simple. In the meantime, it's okay, it's killers. Stand by killers on the Supreme Sound at 3 o'clock, which means it's news time. The news brought to you by Ralph Holness Production. Now for the best in theatrical work, it's Ralph Holness Production. Mailing address, Kingston, Jamaica. At 82.5 degrees Fahrenheit, this is news on the Supreme Sound. I'm Barry Gordon. <laughs> Two men were shot and killed and one seriously wounded in separate incidents. Radio Jamaica understand that one man was caught stealing foul and was beat by citizens of the community. He was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. Prime Minister Edward Siaga is scheduled to leave the island later tonight for Washington. We'll meet with Congress officials. 
Attorney at law, Ronnie Thwaites, yesterday said that politicians need a new sense of value, vision, and purpose. Mr. Thwaites said, There's a present system of political polarization in Jamaica. And as far as I'm concerned, every politician needs a new sense of value and vision to life. It's becoming a very cancerous phenomenon in Jamaica right now, man. Can't support at all. They have to run. Take care. Ronnie Thwaites, attorney at law. And now to end the news, President of the People's National Party, Mr. Michael Manley, is scheduled to visit Venezuela. We'll meet with our position leader, Carlos Andres Perez. Those are the latest news on the Supreme Sound. News next at 5 o'clock. In the meantime, Montego Bay, St. Thomas, you're cracking to the Supreme Sound, RJR. Political biz is what I call it. My directors, uh, listen to me, uh, crack it hard. Uh, let me tell you something. I just spoke to the Prime Minister. I may lose my job, but who cares? I'm cracking the president of the People's National Party. In the meantime, Jamaicans all over. Mr. Mandy, sir, are you there? Crack it high. The question I want to bold you is what I cracked in Mr. Siago's brain. Sir, the People's National Party and the Jamaica Labor Party have been meeting. What do you have to say to Jamaicans about these meetings? It is indeed a feeling fundamentally of great honor and privilege that once and for all in Jamaica, we can have the People's National Party and the Jamaica Labor Party united in a struggle to build Jamaica for Jamaicans. Now, Mr. Manley, I know you're cracked to the Supreme Sound, RJR. In fact, 90% of the listeners are cracked to the Supreme Sound. Believe it or not, sir, the other 10% have got no radio. Now, sir, the Prime Minister says that no election, no way whatsoever. How do you respond to this? I hear the man claim fundamentally that he's not going to call elections for 1988. And I'm not to quarrel if the man claims he's not going to call elections. That's his business. But the greatest tragedy of all, and I say this without apology to anybody in the world, this government was conceived in a massive and monumental act of fraud. It was a fraud before history when they breached solemn agreements with the People's National Party. It was a fraud in conception, fraud in idea, fraud in execution, and fraud in consequence. And God's judgment is not going to legitimize any fraud in the democratic process in Jamaica. Now, Mr. Manley, sir, final question of the afternoon. You've always accused the Jamaica Labor Party of lying. What are the consequences of these lies? Every politician has been accused of being a liar. They claim that I lie and I chief box side money and his manly fault and I mash up country and I do this and I do that. That's what they said. But the greatest tragedy of all is that they lied. They lie on Mondays, they lie on Tuesdays, they lie on Wednesdays, they lie on Thursdays, they lie on Fridays, they lie on Saturdays. God judge me there's a lie twice on Sundays because they lied. Thank you very much, Mr. Manley. In the meantime, Kingston, Jamaica, all over 445, 15 minutes to 5 o'clock, Super Supreme RJR, 105 Live, The Barry G Show. I'm going inside King's house. Behold, Sir Flowers of Glass Bowl, are you there? It is indeed a feeling of great pride and pleasure to be here. Sir Flowers Hill, what's your concept of beauty? As you and I know, I am a very great admirer of beauties. I love um, historical beauty. I love agricultural beauty. And most importantly of all, at 78 years old, I love feminine beauty. So Flores Hill, everybody have their own concept, their own perception of love. Sir, how do you view love? There are two basic types of love that exist in the world at this point in time. There is the love of passion and the love of pleasure. The love of passion draws tears, but the love of pleasure Tears drawers. Finally, the afternoon, sir. At five minutes going up to five o'clock, sir. 
Jamaica is said to be having a chronic population problem. Now, what do you have to say to males and females in our society? Jamaica is facing a very serious overpopulation problem. And as Governor General of Jamaica, I Florizel Augustus Glasspool, Order of the Nation, Knight Grand Commander of the Order of St. Mark and St. George, Commander of the Officer of the Order of Distinction, Governor General of Jamaica, take this opportunity to appeal to all the women, first of all. You should all unite in the fight against overpopulation because if you don't unite and there is a split between the women, the men will get on top of them. And to the men, you must do like I do at my age, but and don't score. Thank you, Mr. Frazil. In the meantime, see the final two performances of Under Me Now's. Under Me Now's a Real Fullness production. Time by Real Fullness, now 5 o'clock. Catch you tomorrow on the 1 5 Live, The Barry G Show. Yes, indeed. What can I say? What can I say? Did I hear you say more? Did I hear you say more? Let me hear more. Here is on the late Roger one more time. Is it ever possible to have a Barry G show with no showbiz? You gotta be mad, Jamaicans. You gotta be mad. Local showbiz this afternoon, Oliver Samuels. Now, Oliver, I just lost one job. I intend to keep this one. Make it clean on the air. See ya. Anything me come fit up, yo, fit up, it clean because me no owe oh, nobody, no, 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 junk or no, crepe, no green plant for me. So why this little fella come tell me, but I must talk it clean. Who oh, remember them days before this same ocean I had it built up? Well, you saw certain business women used to come downtown for come to look for business, you know, me no, me them come for come sell ice and mint or buy fit toast or anything like that. This certain time, this certain ship come from the wharf and this certain business woman buck up this sail and like up this sail and thing. This sail I said to her, I said, darling. He don't have no money, but if she want him, can go catch up him stomach in at the night time of the morning. She come back for the money, nine o'clock. The man tell her if you come nine, she reach from eight. But when she reach eight o'clock, you know, all she sees the ship a sail, a sail, a sail, a sail, a go away. And the man up on the board, the ship a wave to her at her about, Hi, darling, anything you see after nine months, call it David. She say yes. You nasty, dirty bitch. Anything you see after three days, call it herpes. <laughs> yes, I tell you, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that was Gary Sutherland, Leighton Ratcher. Let's hear it for them one more time. And so, and so, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of another something special. I'm Delroy Roach. Here now is part two of Under My Nose. <laughs>